Good evening, welcome to RSF1. Um, we are on a Wednesday night, so we're F5 tonight. Joined by myself, Shane, who's streaming for a change of the F5 guys, and also another strange one in the commentary box with me is Mr. Brundle. How are you, Brundle? You alright? What are you saying, strange? I'm not strange. I mean, as in strange. I know what you really box. mean. I know what you really mean. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I I watch well, much watch most of the races during the week. Um, whenever I'm not streaming myself, and F5 always brings the entertainment. So yeah, I'm pretty much excited doing it myself today. Yeah, they always always put on a good show in F5 for us. Um, as you probably know, guys, any of you that have watched me stream before, I do like to do a quick interview. I was hoping to get Kazzy Babe, Tim and Ike and Eagle in because they're leading the championship the three at the front unfortunately Eagle's got no mic Tim and Ike's not responded so we um, we've just got Kazzy babe how are you Kazzy you all right yeah I'm not bad thank you good man good man obviously you know we're, we're where we are now we're in Hungary um you're currently leading the championship Is, mm. was that your goal at the start of the season or mm, no not really maybe like top five realistically but yeah not bad yeah, I mean, it, it, it's safe to say that, that with yourself, obviously, you're a fellow Renault driver as well, which we do like. Um, consistency has been, been what's been key. When others have had incidents and gotten problems and whatever else, you always seem to be there to, to capitalise. Um, I mean, as you said, you were hoping for around top five somewhere. I wouldn't say you're the quickest in here, but you're definitely the most consistent. Um, is that something you've worked on or you just see the incidents coming? No, not really. I just thought I'd try to avoid them uh, as possible. Go slow on the lap one, and then, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so obviously we're on to Hungary next. Um, how do you feel around here? Mm, I'm not the quickest, that's for sure. Uh, not, my strong, not, not my strong track at all. So what, what are you hoping for then? Maybe top six. That'll be good, I think. Top, top six. six. Yeah. And hope, obviously, your championship rivals in Eagle and Tim and I don't get a great finish. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions for him, Brundle? Oh, I just had a few words. He seems he seemed focused, uh, Kazzy, for tonight's race. Obviously... Um, you, you've seen, oh, I don't know if you've seen the last few races this week around Hungary, there can be late safety cars, so even if you don't have yeah. pace or not confident around this track, you, of course, never know. Um, yeah, just, just not really, just damage limitation, I guess, is what I, what I get from what you're saying. Alright. Did you go for on the weather? Um, no. no. He Someone doesn't mess. ruin it, they always do, but I, I, I like to not know. I like to be surprised. Alright. Yeah, keep it surprised. I, I'm guessing I'm guessing by that there's something. Why don't you just leave? Well, no, it's just now. Uh, They're not in the lobby yet, are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. they went not yet, were they? Yeah, anyway, best of, best of luck to you, uh, Kazzy. Um, Alright. Yeah, see you on the other side. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let you get down to race. Well done. Um, so far this season, be leading the championship. You never know, mate. We could be speaking to you again at the end. Uh. So yeah, that was our championship leader, Kazi Babe. He's also in the, um, the Renault. No bias here. No bias at all. <laughs> I made, I made, I made cheer. I made cheer. It was probably get pole or win. You know, but apart from that, we're neutral. We don't support any particular driver here. Yeah, Ferrari, Ferrari frustrate me. I get sick of seeing Forza Ferrari in the chat. But one Ferrari driver I do like, and I do like to always see well as louder. Yeah, he's he's done he's done well this season, hasn't he? I think it's only I don't think he has won a race this in F five yet. But he's uh he's doing well. Um, yeah, because the thing the thing is about F five chain is the consistency, isn't it? They need you just need to. Uh, do a bunch of results. Um, yeah, solid bunch of results. 
every now, every now and again. Yeah, he he does tend to. I think he's had a few a few bad races um, too recently, but he does tend to manage to stay out of trouble um, and, and get some good results out of from time to time. I'm pretty certain he was leading the championship early on. Uh, yeah, he was actually in the. He was kind of in the championship fight with Tim and Ike. Tim and Ike's always been up there, it seems, from the very beginning because he had a good solid start and he's uh, kept that. From the bear. Um, but obviously, obviously, the guy go momentum, Shane, is the last week's winner, Thomas. Uh, new, new guy to us, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, he's pretty quick. Obviously, he's still, um, still under evaluation for his first three races, so let's see how he gets on. Alonso out first. Mr. Oh, I miss being able to do this. We're looking at Mr. Kent. Oh, no, he's let Thomas go through. That's the right as well. But Doing your all sod off. <laughs> all in soft tyres. Uh. Yeah, there's no point being on anything else in the, in the first session. I like go out seven or eight laps of fuel. Do a couple of laps. Well, they're round here, the tyres do the soft tyres. I don't know if you noticed yourself on Sunday. I noticed uh, very quickly that at the end of one flying lap, you're looking at around about 106 on your front left. Yeah, they do have heat quite easily or quite quickly. Um, also, I'm not expecting anybody to start on soft, but they really shouldn't in these guys now. because no, they shouldn't they, do now. Because they've seen, they've seen the other races, and that's, that's the thing with F2. Obviously, we do our practice with the race strategy chain and what tyres to go on, but we don't know really whether it works. But obviously the tiers after that, like from F4 onwards, they've already seen what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Exactly. I um, knew myself, I did spin and, and get wing damage on Sunday, unfortunately. Um, but I knew myself that from lap six onwards, you can put the hard tyres on, you can go to the end. Obviously, they won't be in the best condition come the end, but they just keep plodding out with the hards. Mm. So, that was my plan. He brought me back into it towards the end of the race, um, before someone had an incident, they, they spun on the track, and then um, I think they were they were trying to clip, unfortunately. So, it caused me to hit them, but, you know, things happen when we move on. They apologise, as you should do, showed respect, and mm -hmm. that's, that's the way it works, isn't it? This is, a, this is a weird scenario. I'm spectating Thomas, and of course I'm not streaming. But it feels like I am. 17-1 from Thomas. What, what are we expecting in F5? Who we have to next along? In terms of pole, pole I'm, I'm, time. <coughs> I'm not too sure. I mean, if Thomas is putting in a 16 1 straight off. 17 1. Um, have a look at 17 1. Have a look what the other guys are doing. So maybe mid 16s. Yeah, possibly. Alonso, 17 9. Yeah, might see it might see a couple of sixteens from these guys, but it's the next one. Yeah, Brave and Container fancies putting Jay Locker for the front row, so seventeen two to pull that time. I think Cosmic Cameron's the next one. <coughs> I must have made a mistake somewhere, eighteen seven, bit off the pace. 16, 16 drivers, good solid number, but the only problem with 16 is you do not want to be the one going out as Cameron nearly hits the water time one. Are your brakes? No, you don't. So, who's just jumped up there? Zombie head P4. A zombie head. Uh, yep, yeah, Eagle instantly goes P4. The P3. P3 with a 17 at 8. Who have we got coming next? The house drivers. Either I'm on a lap already. Thomas went round again, he's been proof. Right, first six is next. Gets a solid run out of the last corner. Gonna be in the 18s though. The 18s. The 18s. Three. 
Tim are interested on the hard tyres, thinking he's maybe trying to, um, maybe he's getting some early practice in for the race potentially, but I'd be highly surprised if he can get through in the hard tyres, although with 16, may scrape through. That's a decent time. You never know, yeah. It's worth, it's worth a punt. Um, it only takes one person that's not set a lap yet, crash. There's an alpha coming through. Lonzo didn't improve. Ah, Tim and Ike. Obviously, big, big race for Tim and Ike. Um, because obviously, we heard earlier, Kazzy's not exactly confident around here, so. If Tim Knight has the stream up, you may have heard that. Maybe put some confidence as Thomas improved. 17 flat. Doing it up to be four. All giving each other good space at the moment, Shane. Oh, McLaren off. There's a McLaren off. Uh, uh, 10 5 is the Eagle. In into the wall. Luckily, I don't think he's got any damage, but luckily he's kept all four tyres. Sorry, mate, I'm back with you now. No problem. Let's watch Rebs. The Rebs is on a lap yet to set one. Yep. There we go. Kazzy Babe's also coming around. We'll see where he goes on the timing board, but we'll sit on with um, with Rebster. He shows some good pace, Rebster does. He just doesn't seem to be able to to get it in the race. He seems to get caught out a lot. Very unlucky. I feel his pain. Yeah. Bit of a wide line there through the left hander. Kazzy. Still purple, though. As the 18-1. Oh, Thomas went quicker, did he? 17-0. Yeah. Also had our first, um, first off around that turn 4, turn 5 section. It was Eagle. I think he clipped the curb on the inside. Still going around there. Oh, purple sector 2 as well from, from Rebster. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting to see someone lose at the arse curb. I see from you rest. seem to lose it there every season. Yeah, it's I hate that I hate that turn. Turn of four. One of the worst turns for me. Uh Rebs are this pretty good. Seventeen seven. Seventeen seven. I'm guessing the purples with was stupid again. Still look louder and orphan in the pit still. Um, let me have a look at that actually. So Thomas is twenty seven six, Rebster Yeah, see Thomas Thomas is was a 27-6 as his best middle set. Uh, uh, Rebs was a 28-1. So yeah, that purple was not right. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. The, the one thing, one thing I haven't got with this season is people going multiple laps on their soft tyres and still improving on them. See, Alonso's. Um, improved and he done like two laps on his soft tyres. I can only get one lap on my softs. And I don't understand how um, people can do it. It's about having a good cool down lap. Ah. Um, in between a lot of the time. Uh, around tracks like this it is. Some tracks I did notice in uh, you know I do pass the information on to the Renault boys. I have noticed sometimes that your second lap is quicker than your first lap. Mm -hmm. On some tracks, it, it, it tends to vary, but this one to do a second run, you need a cool down lap, and it needs to be a, a good slow cool down lap to get them tyres back down. Um, Rhombus, still in the twenties. Rhombus mentioned um, fourth gear. He said he never went out of fourth gear during his cool down laps to try and get the tyres uh -huh. back. That's because he did your because then you don't rev up the rear tyres in the lower gears. That makes sense. So far, seven and a half minutes to go, and it seems to me that Thomas and Button are the the two on pace as it stands. But obviously, it is only Q1, so. 
loudest yeah, it tends to be. I don't, I, you never know, mate. I don't know if you ever noticed, but for myself, for some reason, in Q1, I always struggle to get through in Q1. Oh. Always. Oh, <laughs> very wide from Orphan. I always struggle to get through in Q1 on pace, but then if I can get through to Q3, I'm normally in the top five. It's my, my qualifying then hungry this week. I got through by two thousandths in Q1 after the 15th, got through by two thousandths, and then on Q2 and Q3, I got through by a couple of hundredths and went in one place. So, yeah, I'm struggling at the moment, but as he always oh, speaking of struggling, very wide turn 11. Yeah, I'm just watching the um, orphan, he's, he's been pretty well. He's, uh, he's been a very sloppy like this, looking at it from off. I'd be surprised if this is this is quick. He's looking like a 19, maybe even a 20, 19, 7. Yeah, big understand that last corner as well. Don't get the grip at all. Louder is coming around now. Louder now. Only person yet to set a lap again. A little bit wide last corner, but you can cut that in on the inside. He's in 18-1, P9. 18-1. Big gap though between the, the the front at the moment and the back. Looks to me. Yeah. Would you expect him to go on to, well, at least mediums now, I would think. Yeah, allowed us to validate. He's going to have to into. Oh, he's not on a lap any longer. Goodness, it's coming around again. Doesn't improve. Alonso's gone out again. The interesting thing is, and what, what I noticed on Sunday, is towards the end of Q1, the times were so much faster. Mm. So, I mean, looking down, you, you top two Tom, Tom Asput, and they're both obviously going to be very safe. Um, maybe all the way down to Kazi Babe. It's perhaps the 18s that, that need to worry, 18 onwards. From yeah, say, down. say now, Thomas is actually going out again. Yeah, he's on them worn tyres. I, I did this and realised that it was a mistake. I, if he, I'd be shocked if he improves on them tyres. So I, see, I never get it. See, I never get it. If you're properly, fully safe, like Thomas is safe, he doesn't need to go out again. And what if he pushes? What, what if he uh, pushes too hard on his lap and crashes, say, like turn four, turn five? Then he's not going through the Q two. Yeah, it's risky. Mm. More practice, I guess. So it's fine. Jump ball with Alonso at the moment. Locker feels safe. If he improves her set, uh, I need a little bit down. No. Looking through turn four. Place the curve on the inside of turn five, which is what you need to do. Into the chicane. Looks solid so far. Whoa, okay, very wide. Yeah, you nearly lost it there. See that's, what was, see, that's what I was saying. If you hadn't ever caught that, it might yeah, have been in the wall. Nearly three tenths down. Uh, Tim is on the soft now, so I fully expect him to go, hopefully, into safety. On board with Timmy, he's currently in the drop zone. Just started his lap. All right, here he goes into turn one. It's on the curb a little bit on the inside. Would have helped him that much. We're going down into turn two with the ARS. Got to sort of be patient with it, then put onto the power. Flat through turn three. 
overtake and in turn four is very very tricky you've got to get the line perfectly right down into fifth gear and then through turn five you've got to avoid the apex then into the chicane you can't go over the curves too much because that will throw your pass he's done that very nicely and in this section here the left right and the left have really good confidence in your car to throw it into the corners especially these last two you can one ride a little bit and still be valid but it's getting very clean it's a second up so looks solid at the moment gonna be a bit of vrs left gotta be careful of the bump as well just right there it goes over it into the not the corner now into the last corner take a wide line not too much on the steer it's going to be in the 17s. Oh, 18. 18 Not flat. Not quite. 18 zero. That should be safe, though. Zombie had some validation. He began again. Oh, Orphan. Orphan just about keeps it clean for turn four. He's in trouble at the moment. <clears throat> Albon could potentially be. Zombie heads in the pits. So he's not going again. Tim and Ike's in the pits. Oh, fish sticks! Fish sticks! Oh, turn four. Or edge of turn four, I think. I'm just trying to have a look now. Oh, he's, how, how's he ended up there? Uh, might have snapped on him, but he's trying to save it. He's, he's like nowhere near the wall. He's just off. He's just off before the ice. I'm wondering if that's a big crash. Big mm. crash. I'm wondering if he lost it at the left, smashed the wall, and finished up there. Because that's that's a weird, weird place to be. Oh, Orphan does it. 18-7. Oh, Pushes out Cameron and Cameron's in the pits. So Cameron's out. Cameron's in the pits. Cameron's out. Wow. <sighs> this place is Cameron by seven hundredths of a second. So good effort there, Orphan. Um, Q2. Yeah, Ferrari gone. But to me, like a bit of a misjudgment there. I've... Maybe he thought he was safe. So, I'd be surprised if anybody sticks with the lap now. Uh, Tim is going around again. Yeah, I'm just with Tim now. Somebody tell these guys they're on laps, they don't need to risk it. <laughs> Tim was nearly half a second up in uh, sector one there. Very solid lap so far. Mm, it was nice through there as well, through the right hander last time he run wide and couldn't get the power down. It's through this section now, you need to take this left hander tight, ready for the right hander. This is where you gain all oh. your time here, and as you can see, he doesn't quite get it, but that, that's where you gain all the time. You need to go slow through the left so you can get the right hander correct, and then you come through that right hander and the left hander that's where you gain all your time not the first left mm. it's a bit like um a bit like uh Magus and beckett's in uh Sil silverstone and the first sector in usa you've got to get the line right in the first corner otherwise it's going to mess you up for the rest of the section yeah d d that first left handy um I stick it in fourth, but I cut it close to the curb. I stay off the accelerator and I wait then. I stay in fourth gear and I wait until the car's ready to swing in for the rides. And then I put the foot down, take some of the curb on the exit. Um, and it's it's much, much quicker that way. Because then through there and through the left, you'll gain much more time than what you gain through the one corner of the left, the first left hander getting it right. Do you want to get in both fish sticks and Cosmic Cameron? If you don't mind, mate. I do, yeah. <laughs> Pepper, the people's champ meat. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, so the guy's missing out. Um, in Q1, unfortunately, Fish Sticks, who had a crash, we'll find out for a moment and then what happened. And Cosmic Cameron in the Ferrari, I'm not sure if he thought he was safe or what, but he was in the pits.
Uh, so we've got Orphan, Albon, Tim and Ike, Louder, Zombie Head, Tim, Eagle, Kazi, Odd Gooner, J Locker, Rebster, Alonso, Button and Thomas all going through into Q2. And I'd expect all of them to be on the medium tyres. Or at least most of them anyway. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to go... Yep, yeah, I got this. Right, as we move over, um, Fistics, we were curious what happened, mate, and how you ended up where you were, really. Uh, yes, yeah, the, the far left hand, I clicked the curve and tried to catch it, and it just span. It span out. It looked like... I just kept... <laughs> I did think that was a possibility. Yeah, I just kept my foot in, because... Uh, yeah. yeah, so that was... But yeah, it's just one of those back end steps. It looked up. like it was probably a big, a big crash for you to be where you were. It wasn't far enough around for the ice curb. No, no, but it you seemed that. pretty far. No, nah, it was the one before. For the left hander as well. It just went. So. Just went. Oh, Cosby Cameron doesn't want to be here. <laughs> doesn't. Doesn't want to be a bit shy, Mr. Cameron. Besides, I don't like this track much anyway, so. One of the ones I dislike. Go on, Brundle. Yeah, so obviously, um, yeah, obviously don't don't like the uh, don't like the trap. Obviously, um, qualifying is just one part. You still got the race, um, safety cars at any point. I mean, I don't know if you saw the other races this week, but F4 had a very late safety car to bring uh, people up. So as long as you stick around, you never know. Um, no, yeah, just score as many points as you can, basically. Yeah, I'm no, maybe hope to break into the top ten, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, fresh tyres as well, so... Yeah. Good. Hi, Mr. Cameron. Um, did you... You were in the pits, uh, or, didn't, or didn't decide to go out to have another go? And to be fair, you only just got... Come on. Oh, okay, so, yeah, I, I've been there as well, so it's no problem. Um, but obviously, like Fish Sticks, you still got the race, you still on uh, fresh tyres, um, you can uh, push on for it. Alright, well, have a good race, guys, and um, maybe speak to you later, if you're on the podium. Alright, cheers, guys. On board with Alan Bond Bundle. Okay, thank you very much. Um, You're going to have to give me about 10 minutes. I will tell you where we're at. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Right, so, yeah, just going through. Uh, quite a few people actually on the hard tyres. Uh, Button, Guna, Locker, Alonso and Eagle on the hard tyres. But they seem to be very confident with pace. But Alvin just going through into the middle sector now. I'm uh, looking for a solid time. I only just got through the Q1, so we'll be looking to find a bit more time. And yeah, you had to turn out a little bit of the uh, of the turn as he went into it. Nope, doesn't seem to be very confident. Oh, and the car snapped him in there as well. Doesn't seem that. Yeah, he's backed out of the lap and he's invalidated. It didn't come up on my screen, but I just looked at the stream. And it did. Um, who's next on a lap? I think Eagle's just about to begin. Mercedes and Alban just coming through. So he'll be going again. Right. Thomas. 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 Yeah, Thomas is just coming through now. Uh, very good in Q1. He's been showing the pace at the top front. And a 17.8 on the medium tyres. Very good. Lap uh, Guna behind him. Just at the 19.4 and the hards. Uh, the Rebels are shadowing the Torosso of Revs. The Revs have got very much caught out in, um, is that in front of him? That zombie head in front of him. Who's on a oh! Wow! Oh. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Oh, five place grip penalty. penalty. I missed that. I just went off of him. Oh, and Albon's out. Turn Albon? Uh, turn five by the looks of it. Ash Cube. Uh, if you get on the harsh drivers. Yeah, turn five, just gone straight off to the left. Oof. Yeah, it's a, it's a big accident. Not quite sure what happened with with, with Rebster. He's, um, he's 
off the track at the minute, trying to let people pass, but not quite sure what happened. I couldn't see... Uh, I just went off of it as they went into Turn 1, actually. Um, but they were close together, so I don't know what's going on. Eagle 19-1 on the hards. From him, J Lock is just about to finish a lap now. A zombie head ahead of him. A zombie with a 19 0. 19 3 for Lock on the hards. On with button. Okay, thank you. Right, so button, yeah, just. Finishing up his lap now on the hard tyres as well. A lot of different strategies from these guys, but obviously Alban already out. There's 14 in the session, so maybe someone on hards could sneak through. 19-2 from Button. About low 19 seems to be the uh, time. Players on hards. Who's next? Uh, Any Sorry, mate. Anyone else having issues with the stream? Yeah, so what Robert? Watch your Tim and Ike's lap, mate. Okay, thank you. Well, it's Tim and Ike looking to go through into Q3. So just coming up into the middle sector, just going up to turn four now. Hands in, turn, in gear six, so pretty, pretty good. And through turn five, cannot touch that curb on the inside, remember. And into the chicane. Nice. As he's yet to set a lap, and remember, remember Tim and Ike is looking to can, can take the lead actually. Tim and Ike, if he has a good result ahead of uh, Kazi, he's only two points behind. And into the final set to 56. Going into the final set, so it looks pretty solid. we are looking to get near Thomas's time, probably like a low 18 to be safe. I feel it's a very comfortable, decides to take a very wide line into the last corner and it's going to be an 18-8 second of Thomas but might be safe with that right who is next there's a Renault about to fin no Renault about to start oh, Kazi's about to start his lap now so see what he can do Eagles just improved to an 18-8 on hard tyres that's a very good lap from him so he could be the one to sneak through on those tyres there, but everyone's now on mediums or hards. Mostly mediums are the looks of it. As he into turn three. Second gear. Interesting one. Lap for turn three, Tim gets way out of the way. Oh. A little bit wayward at turn four, but it's okay. He's got his championship rival ahead of him, the Timonite, but Timonite should get way out of the way, and he does. Very good. And into these next left right handers. Middle sector, quite solid. This this last corner here, you've got the Flinder car in. Does so. 55 7, so that's slightly quicker than Timonite, actually. So it could be into the mid 18s here. So. This is the apex there, but it's alright, as long as you get the exit, which he does. Into the final corner. A little bit onto the curb, that'll cost him a little bit. So it's going to be a 18 3. So actually, decent lap from Kazi. He's not confident with this, but. Good, that's good. Orphan into the middle set at the moment. The next cross. The Lion Cameron's left the session. Let me get him back in. There we go. Right, Orphan's just about to finish his lap, but he just got through. In right, just to make everyone aware, sorry Brundle, That's right. um, as, soon, as soon as Q2 is done, 
Um, I am going to jump off quickly. Brundle's going to stream and Junior's going to jump in and co com. Okay. Um, my stream's struggling and also, as you can probably hear, the kids have been maniacs in the background. <laughs> yeah, so I can hear. I'm, 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 I'm really struggling and it's not fair on you guys watching. So no it's, it's best if I jump out and change over. Alright, no worries. Alright, so. Very quickly. So. That's alright. I do apologise about that. Alright, so we've got five minutes left of Q2, so Orphan has come through at a 20.0, Revsis has been dropped down, Tim has gone up to 9th for the 19.6, just gets in there. Yeah, Albon, uh, I think it was midway to through turn 5 where he lost it. Uh, Junius has come into the session now, so if you join us in the comms box, Locker is just about to uh, start a lap now. In the Red Bull, so... I'm on with Louder. Ah, I'm on with Louder, okay, no problem. Right, so Louder, let's have a look. So he did a 36, so there's a bank of that all very wide through turn. Or did he keep that clean? He did. Uh, okay, so into the middle sector now. Quite oh, late on the brakes into the chicane, but just about keeps it. Right, and then into corner slightly wide. Look at this last corner right though. Keeps it in sip gear just about. Car a little bit sideways. 56-3. Middle sector, so going into the final two corners now. A bit wide on the apex. Wasn't that hooked up as uh, previous weeks? Oh, <laughs> he hit the wall on the inside there. As he's retired, he's safe. As 19 0 from Louder might be safe, but it's very, very close. This cutoff point, Locker's next across the line. And he goes up to, up to first, 17 7. Nice. Good lap locker. Interesting thing I've just noticed is you've got um, Thomas actually out on the soft tyres now. I don't know if he's... I don't think he is setting a lap here. Ah, he's... I a... think he's just out to give Gunnar a tow. Yes, he is. Oh, they're very close. They're like no to tail. Goodness me. Yeah, Gunnar's instantly run wide into two and one, so... <laughs> that hasn't really worked. Nope. Good evening. What... Wasn't prepared for the extra uh, push. You're right, Junior. There you go. Nice. <laughs> two. Yeah, he's six. two and a half tenths down. Timmer's just Timmer's just about across the line now. Looks a bit more. E five. Nice. So who's I'm next? Revster. Revster P seven. The old man up to P seven. Look how close that is. 18-8 down in, to... Louder's in, he's not out. out again. Alonso's 12th at the moment. He was looking uh, strong in Q1. But he's on a lap at the moment. Yeah, Louder's done for the day. The session. Seen the chat, Junior? Have I seen the chat? Yeah, Reefers, Reefers, Reefers put um, at RSF1 Junior, don't be all about tow it, racing, pointless noobs, be neutral. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, so can you turn off of uh, Alonso now and get the alphas out of his stream, please? <laughs> uh, Kachow is off my Christmas card list. <clears throat> Gotta keep it on Alonso, though, because he's struggling. Again, so he's out. Hashtag tow it. 18-2 from Alonso, hey. nice time. What's Button got? Button 17-9 from Button. Um, he emptied the 18 then, he just wasn't there. It's all down to Goo now. Or Goon, uh, yeah, he's uh, just under two tenths up now. It's all down to Goo now whether um, he or Rebster, because Rebster just back into the pits. It's all down to Goo now whether Rebster goes through or not. He's one tenth up at the moment. Needs more. Oh. He does need more. 
see how he, see how he takes it. Very clean at that corner there, though. Oh, he's six tenths Ooh, up. he's nearly seven tenths. As long as he gets this lap, he gets these last two corners, he'll be all right. I think Rebs is in trouble. It's looking that way. Into the last corner. Yeah, I think Guna's done it. And it's 18-5. He has, yeah. Watch his reps are out. I think that's pretty much done. Just make sure no one else is on a lap. No one else is on a lap. And that's it. No chances of the ice cream people over. Right, guys. Um, the stream will be back up in a moment with uh, Brundle Stream and Junior will be your co-coms. I do apologise again. Um, it's just a bit of a madhouse at the minute. Um, with the kids are locked down and everything else. So I'll leave you in more than capable hands. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the stream. It'll be back up in the next couple of minutes. Catch you in a bit. No worries. No worries. <coughs>